Hi, it's Jan Howe from YouMakeItSimple.com here with another upcycled t-shirt tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make these nifty bags using a t-shirt. I'm going to show you a sewing method and an easy no-sew method that works really well. This is a great way to recycle and to get rid of these bags. They're actually quite durable. Let me show you how much you can fit in these little babies. I can probably get even more in there. Awesome, right? It can actually even be your purse if you really wanted to. Of course, you can add a cute little tag. I add tags to everything and you can find my tutorial on how to make your own tags. A simple way to recycle and use what we already have. So let's get right into how you make these things. Let's go over the no sew method first. Turn your t-shirt inside out and cut off the sleeves. Fold it in half and we'll cut out the opening of the bag by just cutting a half circle. Come to the bottom of the shirt and we're going to be cutting little slits that are about three inches long. So if you don't have a line on the t-shirt like this one is, take a piece of masking tape and just measure three inches and tape that so you're cutting straight all the way across. I'm cutting little slits about half inch apart all the way down. And that last one, just cut it in half. Come to the end and we're going to start tying knots to tie the front and the back piece together. And you'll tie each, you'll tie a double knot to bring the front and the back together. Do that all the way across. Tying double knots with the front and the back tab. And we're going to go back through because as you'll notice there's little holes between the knots. We want to get rid of that space so we're going to take one of the tabs, one of the tags from one knot with the tab, one of the tabs from the next knot and tie a double knot. That will close off that space. Take your time to find one of the tabs in one knot to the adjacent tag in the next knot and tie them together. Do that all the way down and then when you get to the end do a double knot on each end just to secure the ends in place. Turn it inside out and you have a nice secure bottom to your bag. Let's go over how to do the sewing method. Turn it inside out just like you did before. Cut off the sleeves and the neck. We're going to make a little pleat at the bottom so that just like this bag it'll allow you to fit more in the bag. Fold the sides over about four inches and clip them in place. Set your machine to a lightning bolt stitch which is indicated in this photo or you can just use a narrow width and short zigzag stitch. You can also use a serger which will allow that stretch in the seam as well. You'll need to use a ballpoint needle or a jersey knit needle in your machine. That way you're not going to be poking holes into your t-shirt. Using a zigzag stitch or the lightning bolt stitch will allow the seam to stretch a bit so when it get, the fabric gets stretched the seam isn't going to pop and break. Bring it to the sewing machine and sew along the bottom just at the edge of the hem. Back stitch, of course, be at the beginning and the end of your seam. Turn it inside out and voila, you have those nice pleats that will allow you to fill the bag more fully and you've used the zigzag stitch so it won't pop. I actually prefer using the sewing method. It is a little quicker just to sew that seam than to sit and tie all those knots. But if you don't have a sewing machine, tying the knots is a great option. Thanks for watching. 
If you like the video and you want more like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. Check out my other upcycling tutorials and have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Thank you.